What's up everyone? Welcome to the fourth tutorial on XHTML. Last time we learned how to add line breaks and also how to align um, the paragraph. And today I want to be talking to you about lists, specifically definition list and ordered list. A definition list is a little different way of organizing your information other than your typical paragraphs. People use it to define either terms or words or sentences sometimes. And to do that, let's get started. The first tag that we use is the DL tag. This stands for definition list. And all definition lists end with an ending DL tag. So here's your beginning tag and here's your end. And anything we write in this list is going to go right here in between it. So let's make the first term, and the tag for that is DT, stands for definition term. And say we want to say first term. And then write an ending DT tag to let the browser know this is the end of your term. On the next line, we're going to want to write the definition for, other, for whatever that term is going to be. And the tag for this is DD. It stands for data definition. So let's just write this is my definition. And let me just copy that and paste it a few times to represent what an actual definition might look like. And you always end it with a closing DD tag. So now inside our list, we have a term first term and a definition so let's save it and take a look at what this looks like as you can see the term is aligned to the left and the definition is indented slightly so this makes it stand out and it's easy to define terms you just put your word or sentence that you want to define right here and any term will be indented directly underneath it so let's get rid of your entire list so you have a clear body. And the next list I want to talk to you about is called an ordered list. Whenever you see something numbered either A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3 on the internet, they made it using an ordered list. And the tag to begin this is O, L for ordered list. So let's start that. And the ending tag is a typical O, L tag. And any items that you want to put in the list are going to have the tag LI for the list item. So let's add our first item, type in LI, and type this is number one. And you end it with a typical LI tag. So let's add another item, type LI, type this is two, and then close it off with the li tag. Now let's save that and take a look at what it looks like. As you can see this order list automatically numbers these one and two and if we were to go on it would keep numbering them three, four, and five depending on what order we type the list. But say we don't want to have numbers and we want to have something like letters. Well, that's easy. In your opening tag of your ordered list, press between the L and the ending bracket and press space and write type. And the attribute to change the type, if you want to change it to uppercase, you type a capital A for, for your value. So your attribute is type and your value is capital A. So let's save that and take a look at what it looks like. As you can see now, instead of numbers, the list has changed to capital letters. And there's a bunch of different types that you can change it to. There's lowercase, there's Roman numerals, there's lowercase Roman numerals. And I'll include all of this, all the different types of attributes you can change it to on my website. If you're not already there, you can go to www.thenewboston.com and I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction on everything that we went over today. Thank you.